Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. This is the first of several videos in which we will detail some of the challenges of two drum winding. Here, we look at the intolerance of a nip. Recall from our web handling class that the nipped roller is intolerant to errors in roller geometry. We covered this in great detail in Module 7. We also remind you of the great intolerance the nip has to web bagginess and thickness profile problems. Recall from our web handling class that the nip roller tends to meter material through at a constant rate. Recall that a baggy lane is longer than its neighbors. It will have the tendency to bubble behind the nip and possibly burp through as a wrinkle. We learned how to read and interpret that wrinkle by shape alone. While a roller roller nip is intolerant of thickness variation, the winding nip is much, much more intolerant. This is because the thickness variation of thousands of wraps builds up to form gauge bands and hard ridges that can quite easily stretch the web into bagginess. You can find quite a bit of recent teachings on the subject, including a few Web 201 YouTube clips. Two drum winders take these nip troubles to extremes. First, while most winders have only one nip, two drum winders have three nips. Second, every nip is extremely heavy compared to center winds with lay-on rollers. Most of this heaviness comes from simple roll weight that in textiles is heavy and in paper and rubber it is crushing. Some shipping rolls of paper weigh more than 10 tons. Improving the performance and reliability of the two drum winding uses the same tactics we learned in web handling. First, we do whatever we can with the machine. Then, everything else must come from the material. To improve the winder begins with recognizing that the rider roll nip just adds to the roll weight troubles. Every nip should be calibrated just like load cells. Minimum safe nip, usually 1 to 2 PLI, should be reached at or well before the finished diameter of the roll. Also, we should practice very good mechanical maintenance, particularly in regard to alignment. After that, we must work with a web. Leveling profile is something I've covered in many of my teachings. After that, what remains is to either run small rolls or accept higher defect rates on bigger rolls such as bagginess, corrugations, and many, many other nip-related troubles. As a final observation, we will note that the two-drum winder has been used for more than a century in the paper industry. This winder has, more than any other factor, forced us to level the profile on the paper machine. As a result, Paper is surprisingly even across the width given the complexity of its manufacturing. If it is not level enough, the winder will let you know. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. Stay tuned for more two drum and other winding topics.